Excuse me, Angela, are you there? Sure, what's up, Lydia? Everything okay? I hear you're in the process of paying off some debts. Huh? I'm what? I was so disappointed, you wouldn't believe. Tut, 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 Angela. It's just a good thing we're neighbors, or I never would have heard you discussing it through the walls. I'm sorry, but I don't know what you're talking about. Do you mean you eavesdrop on us? I heard you and Scott talking about it in the middle of the night. I had a cup to the wall, so trust me, I heard everything. $1,000 a month in debt repayments? No end in sight? Just how much debt are you in? Oh, you heard that. These walls are thinner than I thought. A cup to the wall, though? Have you ever heard of privacy? It's quite a lot of money, but I think if we can keep up with the repayments at the current pace, it might be paid off within four or five years. My goodness! You're in that much debt? Yes, that much. Between all the secret investing and gambling, and a complete failure to keep up with the payments back when they were smaller, it seems like this was inevitable. We are married, so of course we're committed to getting through this by working together. I hate to say it, but we're not always able to meet halfway. You have no idea how hard it is to keep up with thousand dollar debt repayments every month all on your own. This has really taken its toll on us. My oh my, Angela. Just what have you been doing? As your mother-in-law, I simply cannot overlook this. Yeah, I totally get that. I wouldn't expect you to overlook it either. But with how Scott's situation is right now, there might not be anything you can do. I can't believe my son's own wife would place such a crushing burden on him. My poor boy must be going through hell. Huh? What do you mean? Basically, what you're saying is that my Scotty's being forced to pay off your debts with his hard-earned money? And a thousand dollars a month at that? It's hardly pocket change, is it? By the time it's paid off in four or five years, he'll be, what, $45,000? $60,000 out of pocket? How could you do this to him? No, 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 wait. You've got this the wrong way round. I'm not the one who's in debt. Scott is. Oh, this is rich. You're going to try and pin the blame on my Scott because I found out about your little secret? I had no idea you were so shameless. That reminds me, your attitude last night while you were discussing the debt was absolutely atrocious. I could practically feel you looking down your nose at him through the wall. I heard everything. You do know you have debts to pay off, don't you? You need to pay it back, Scott. You have no choice. How dare you speak to my son like that when he's the one paying off your debts, you vindictive, self-righteous liar! He doesn't need to hear any of that from you. Um... I'll have him divorce you, I tell you. Divorce! You have no intention of listening to me, do you? I could listen to everything you have to say a million times over, and it still wouldn't pay off a cent of the debt. Hmm, fair point. You know what? I've changed my mind. You're right. I don't think there's any point in talking to you when you're in emotional ignoramus mode. Excuse me? What did you just say? If you'll forgive me, I'm at work and we're very busy. Let's discuss this properly at a later date. Don't make me laugh. I have nothing to discuss with an abusive, debt-ridden liar. One thing's for sure, though. My poor son needs protecting from you. He'll be staying next door with me from now on. He'll end up curled up in a ball in the corner of some psych ward if he's around you even a moment longer. All right, fine by me. I'm going. Bye. Angela? We're getting a divorce. Huh? What the hell are you talking about, Scott? Are you still half asleep? I'm not half asleep. I've had my coffee and my head is clearer than it's ever been. My eyes have opened. It seems like my mom found out about the dad. I was worried at first, but it looks like she's actually going to be able to help me get rid of it. She's lowering me the mother of all lifeboats. Lifeboat? She told me if I divorce you, all the debt will disappear and I'll never have to worry about money or repayments ever again. She was really convincing. Huh, is that so? 
I see. She must have a real lace up her sleeve. This is why my mom's great. She was always looking out for me. She's super clever too, so I believe her. I have a feeling she doesn't have an ace up her sleeve at all. If I'd known she'd be such a powerful ally, I would have just told her from the get-go instead of keeping it a secret this whole time. So, uh, yep, yeah, it's decided. I don't need you anymore! The way you talk down to me like I'm some naughty little kid seriously grinds my gears. And I'm done with it! I'm gonna be free! You be! We're getting a divorce. Good grief, you're beyond saving. I'm at work right now, so we can discuss this properly later. Scott? When I got home from work, there were some divorce papers on the table. Would you mind telling me what the heck is going on? I think I made it pretty clear. We're getting a divorce. I had to go through the hassle of ordering the papers. So, you can hand them in yourself. I'm busy! I take it that means you have no interest in talking this through and saving our marriage then? What's the point? You'd only dog down to me like some little kid. Just like you always do. I'm mad as hell and I won't take it anymore. Besides, I have my mom. She's the only ally I need in my life. She always has my back and she's super, super smart. Not like you. She said you're a liar too, which only strengthened my resolve. Hurry up and get out, liar! Wow. Hmm, you know what? I think it is actually better this way. Let's face it, I didn't exactly enjoy shelling out a thousand dollars a month to pay off your debts. I'm finally gonna be able to spend my own money again. Fantastic, superb, tremendous, magnificent. We both get what we want. Win-win. Good evening, Angela. I heard you finally did the right thing and agreed to the divorce. If that's what he really wants, I'm not gonna get on my knees and beg. If we can't talk and work through problems as a team, what's the point in being married anyway? I see you're just as arrogant as ever. How, how dare you take such a haughty attitude with me and my son, despite being in so much debt you owe $1,000 a month in repayments. You've got some nerve to look down on your husband when he's the one paying it off for you. You wouldn't have anything to eat or a roof over your head if not for him. Get your things together and go. What? He's paying off my debt, feeding me, and putting a roof over my head? What planet are you on? You are aware I work every single day, aren't you? Of course I'm aware, you pompous little upstart. However, there's no way whatever paltry wage you bring in with that pitiful part-time job could possibly sustain a family. <sighs> Even a monkey could understand that Scott, who works at a major company, is the one holding everything together. He probably makes more in a day than you do in a week. Ugh. I knew it. You have no idea Scott hasn't been going to work for the last year, do you? Get with the times already. He's probably working remotely. I'm fully aware of how working life has changed over recent years. I might be old, but that doesn't make me ignorant. I don't have to confirm every little thing with my son to know what he's doing. Interesting. I see. Your ignorance is actually impressive. You two are really alike. I'll take that as a compliment. Anyway, I'll be moving out tomorrow. I'm in the process of getting my things together right now, so you'll probably hear some banging in the night. I hope it doesn't bother you too much. That's fine. It'll sound like a relaxing lullaby when I remember it's the sound of the odious witch who catapulted my son into financial ruin, finally removing herself from his life. Hurry up and get gone! Okay, Scott, I'm all done packing. This is it. I'm leaving. Vroom, vroom! Zzz, big fire truck go vroom! Zzz, huh? Who did that? Oh, Angela, all right, whatever. I handed in the divorce papers last night, so me and you are strangers now. We'll never see each other again after today. This month's debt repayment is due tomorrow. Make sure you don't forget, okay? Don't come crying to me if you're struggling to keep up, because I won't be helping you anymore. You're annoying. 
I'm sleepy. Just go away. Let me sleep, damn it. <laughs> Fine. Have it your way. Goodbye forever, Scott. Lydia, I'm leaving now. Mmm, big creamy milkshakes. Pizza dipped in chocolate. Lard sandwiches. Cola. Huh? What? Angela, I'm trying to sleep. Get lost. Message me later. <sighs> Whatever. Have a nice life. Goodbye. Angela, pick up the phone! This is an emergency! I repeat, this is an emergency! We have to get married again immediately! I need you to keep helping me with the debris payments! Excuse me? My mom got it wrong! Oh boy, did she get it wrong! She got it wrong, so I think my life might be over! I had no idea, but it seemed she was convinced the debt was yours. She had it in her head that I was the one, shelling out $1,000 a month to cover your repayments. That's why she thought that if I divorced you, I wouldn't have to help you get out of the mountain of debt she thought you were in anymore, and I could finally attain financial freedom. That's why she told me to divorce you. Oh my god, I thought she had some kind of genius trick up her sleeve, but turns out she was just making a huge misunderstanding. Yep. I knew that. What? I did my best to set her straight. I made it pretty clear that I wasn't in any debt, and that I was in fact the one helping you with your repayments, but it went in one ear and out the other. I did consider explaining to her how it seemed unfair for me to pay off your debts, given how you're the one who got yourself into this mess in the first place. But she was being so confrontational and aggressive, I didn't think there'd be any point. So the plan was to discuss it among the three of us once she calmed down. Then she told me you wanted a divorce, so I was like, meh, what's the point? Now I've completely washed my hands of you both, and wow, does it feel liberating. My financial burden disappeared overnight. I've had a giant Scott-shaped boulder lifted off my shoulders. Who would have thought that divorcee life could be so fun? No way you didn't, did you? Did you hand in the divorce papers? Yep, I handed them in the night you left them on the table. I did try and tell you, but I think you were dreaming about fire trucks or something. We're officially strangers now. This is bad, 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 really bad! Angela! I'm so sorry. I made a huge mistake. I'm sorry. Please come back immediately. I apologized. So you'll come back, won't you? Won't you? What? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me that Scott was the one in debt and not you? You had so many opportunities. And I had no idea it was my uncle who was originally covering the repayments. That's because Scott chose not to tell you. I may have been your daughter-in-law, but it wasn't my place to tell you that kind of thing. That was your son's responsibility. I did at least make it very clear that the debt is Scott's and not mine. You're the one who kept interrupting and ignoring me whenever I tried to make you see sense, and you're the one who demanded we get a divorce based on your ridiculous misunderstanding. You're in no position to criticize me. There's something else I can't get my head around. How on earth were you managing to keep up with a thousand dollars a month debt repayments working that crummy part-time job of yours in the first place? That's why I got the wrong end of the stick. You misled me. I don't work part-time and I never once told you I did. Huh? I inherited my dad's restaurant chain when he passed away a few years ago, and I've been managing all ten of his restaurants ever since. You? You own a company? You? Yes, me. I own a company. I thought you worked part-time flipping burgers at McDonald's. That's fascinating because I don't. You're so good at misinterpreting reality, it's worrying. So that's how you were able to keep up with those enormous debt repayments. By the way, hmm, how to break this to you. You might want to sit down for this one, Lydia. Are you ready? Scott's unemployed. What? 
He got into a fight with his boss last year when he mistakenly arranged a meeting with a major client for the wrong day. He stormed out in a rage when he got taken to task on it. He had ample opportunity to apologize, but he was so stubborn he chose to get fired rather than admit fault. He's been unemployed ever since. Did he at least get a severance payment? He did, but it disappeared straight away when he used it towards paying off his debts. He'd only been at the company a few years, and it was his own fault he got fired, so it wasn't much. I couldn't bring myself to see him stop making payments because he'd have been swallowed up by the interest, so I decided to start covering them for him. It was only supposed to be temporary. Really? I see. Okay. I understand everything now. I'm sorry for everything I've done, Angela. Will you carry on making the repayments for him? Excuse me? Listen, I just got a phone call from my uncle. He said today's payment is late. Apparently he got a threatening email from the repayment company. Please see to it that today's payment of $1,000 gets made as normal. Are you aware that me and Scott aren't married anymore? You're both strangers to me now. But, but... The real irony here is that you're the one who got him to divorce me in the first place. It's time the pair of you learned how to stand on your own two feet for a change. I think this could be a great opportunity for you. Angela, please, don't do this. I'm set to retire next year. These repayments would eat up my pension so fast I'd be homeless before I knew it. My husband passed away years ago. How in God's name am I supposed to support myself, my unemployed son, and run a household on top of these mammoth debt repayments all on my own? Goodbye, Lydia. Angela! Since the repayments were set to suddenly stop, I thought I should call Lydia's uncle, who'd been the one covering them before me, and make him aware of the situation. He was astonished when he found out it was me who'd been making the repayments this whole time, and I was even more astonished when he apologized and paid me back the entire sum. After a few more apology messages, he swore to teach Scott the meaning of personal responsibility by having him pay off the debts he'd racked up if it was the last thing he did. Last I heard, he was forcing them both to work at his garbage disposal company to come up with the money. Apparently, a few of the senior employees are pretty mean-spirited and take great pleasure in seeing just how far they can push the two of them. They're being worked to exhaustion on a daily basis, which I was told about in detail when they spammed me with messages begging me to come back. Naturally, I blocked them both. Lydia's uncle ended up confiscating their phones because they were constantly playing games on them instead of working whenever no one was looking. I tried to be as sympathetic and compromising a wife as I could be, but their attitude towards me, which was revealed through a huge misunderstanding, quickly made me change my mind and by the end, I was just as eager to divorce as my husband was, or thought he was. I'm so pleased I decided not to correct his delusional mom. Whatever happens to them, they're on their own from now on. Hey dad, I have finished my exams already. I'm going to come back home in a couple of days. So early. What happened to that program we had you signed up for? You're supposed to complete it within two weeks. We have already paid $200 for you to get that training. Yeah, how about that? It has been postponed till the end of next semester. The facilitator for the program had a bit of family problems, so we had to cancel. If we are unable to have it by the end of the year, then you will get a full refund. Does not matter. I would much rather spend time with you instead. Right. Yes, sure. How has mom been? I have been unable to speak to her for the past few months. I need answers. Dad, are you and mom splitting up? We cannot talk about this right now. It has been three months since mom has spoken to anyone. You said that she just packed her stuff and left, right? So it is either you are lying to me or you really don't know what is going on. I'm not lying to you. You must understand. But I want to protect you at all costs. Your mother and I will figure this out. Look, I paid for your apartment already. Stay there and explore the city. I'll send you $1,000 to do anything you want. You can travel, shop, and party. Just don't come back home. 
Okay, fine. But soon, I want the truth, okay? Hey, Dad. Surprise, I'm back home. What? What do you mean? You should have told me I changed the locks. There will be no way in. Oh, that, of course. I know how to pick a lock. He taught me how to when I was eight years old. Anyways, I hope that you have food. I'm starving. I think I will have dinner with you tonight and then I will go out with Emily and Tasha tomorrow night. There is a local football game. We might pop by there. Who told you to come back? Answer me. You're not there. Answer the phone. Two hours later. Who the hell is Frances and why is she living here? She has an attitude and is refusing to tell me who she is. She continues and I will have to call the police. Don't speak to her. Is she the reason why you did not want me to come back home? You need to leave. I'll book you in elsewhere. Is she your mistress? Is that the reason why my mom left and dropped off the face of the earth? Oh, my word. Tell me that what I am thinking is not truth. Because if it is, my life has turned into a film. There are women's clothes all over the place. She's in your room. You're dating her, are you not? Did you too bury my mother in the backyard? You must be insane. I would never hurt your mother. Look, Francis is my girlfriend. Wait, why is nothing in my room where I left it? Why are there anime posters on my walls? Why are there anime posters on my walls? This Francis, does she have kids? Yes, she has kids. My goodness, what is wrong with you? So my mom left and then you decided to let your girlfriend and her kids move in? How long did you think that you were going to keep this up? This is my home and you cannot make me leave. I'm going nowhere up until you explain everything to me. I will be waiting for you to come back from work. The next morning. I do not appreciate how you acted toward Francis and the kids yesterday. I thought I raised you to be more sensible. I'm paying for your education. You will have to respect me. Understood? You will have to respect me. Because I'm not a shitty dad who moved a woman and her children into my daughter's childhood home. Oh, and my wife left me because I was cheating, but I was too much of a chicken to let our daughter know. But totally respect me. Is that what you're trying to see? I am still your father. You will not speak to me like that. Pack your stuff and leave, or Francis will kick you out. You are grown. You cannot live with us. We do not have space for you. Wow. I cannot believe that I once felt sorry for you. I hated my mom, thinking that she abandoned me. Imagine if I decided to listen to you and I did not come back into town. I would have never known that you moved another woman into the house which you built with your wife. You're supposed to be a respected community leader. Is this the sort of example you will set? Keep on speaking if you want me to cut you off financially. Then keep on talking. I will call the cops and have you removed. Do not bother, Dad. I will leave your house. I will go back to school even though you have hurt me, and I have lost all respect for you. I used to look up to you and respect you, but now I do not even have an ounce of respect. I will be gone by the time you get back home, since you clearly do not want me around. Okay, good. Sasha and Phil, two days later. Hi, Uncle Phil. I'm not sure if you remember me, but I am your sister Dorothea's daughter. I got your number from my mom's old workplace. Do you by any chance know where she is? My word. I have been trying to get in touch with you for the past few months. Your mom is fine. She's just getting the help that she needs right now. What do you mean by that? Let me give you a quick rundown. I do not know what that liar of a father of yours told you, but he lied a lot. She did not leave the house. She was forced out. She found out that he was cheating on her. Instead of being apologetic, he forced her out and told her that he does not want to be with her anymore. Soon afterward, he told you those lies and made sure that you did not contact her. She stayed with me for some weird terrible shock and knew telling you would break your heart. Plus, he is the one paying for your fees. 
Everything that I have ever believed now feels like a lie. Though her keeping it a secret from me does not help. My father kicked me out. I did not think that he would do that. But thank you for contacting me. But anyways, your mother was shocked after what happened and then she had a stroke. She's in recovery at our mother's house. I tried to get in contact with you, but I could not find you. I know your mom and I had not spoken in seven years, but at least you contacted me now. I want to see her. Where do you live? Where does she live? I live in a city for work, but I drive down on the weekends to see her. That is a three-hour drive. Can I go with you this weekend? Right now, I have to go back to my apartment. My dad was pissed off when he kicked me out. I don't want to let him know that I am onto him yet. Smart move. There is a lot that we need to speak about. It will, it will be better to do this face to face though. Okay, see you this weekend. Hi, thank you so much for taking me to see her. Not a problem, she's happy to see you and is responding well. Where are you? you disappeared. There was something she told me before she had a stroke. She wanted me to contact a certain lawyer. I have been trying to get an appointment for weeks. Now finally I managed to get it. It's because I found you. It must be good luck. Why are you not at your apartment? I'm with my mom. Thanks a lot, you loser of a father. You know what? It does not even matter to me what you do. You and your mother deserve each other. You are lucky I paid your fees in advance, otherwise I'm done with you. Why? Because you cannot face your guilt for what you did to us? You kicked both your wife and daughter out to make space for a mistress? I hope that it was worth it. I will not take to not take judgment from a child. I am the child here, but you are behaving like a toddler. I have good news for you. Really? I could use some good news right now. I'm so stressed about mom's condition. My money is also running out. After all, my stupid dad stopped sending money because I called him out. Allow me to send you at least $500. Will it hold you over for at least a month or two? You do not have to. That money would be enough for several months, but I do not want to take advantage of you. You could never take advantage of me. I am your uncle. Also, I have to tell you the good news. The lawyer just confirmed that the house belongs to you. In any case, if your mother is sick or incapable of making decisions, everything that she owns goes to you. What? I spoke to the lawyer and he says this condition is grounds for you to take over. The house was actually put in your name, name over 21 years ago. When I was born? They never told me about this. Your dad signed on the dotted lines. I guess he forgot about it. Or he never counted on the fact that you would find out. What does that mean for me? You are the owner of the house. You can kick him out. He cannot kick you out because he has no rights. I will send you all the documents in a bit. Damn, my mom has always been the baddest. Bad how? Oh, I mean that she's super intelligent. I bet he did not see this one coming. Thank goodness I looked for you. Otherwise, I would not have known. Oh, and once I get my house, we will have to see about getting them divorced. He, Francis, and their little family can build a little house in the street for all I care. Exactly. I've seen the pain he has put my sister through. I'm happy that at last, some justice will be served. I trust that you have received the eviction notice. You have three days to leave the house. Anything that belongs to my mother and I should not be touched. Eviction notice? Wait, Francis called me an hour ago when I was in a meeting. You stupid child. What have you done? Do not act surprised. Did you think I would not find out the house belongs to me? Leave that house, or I will have you forcibly removed, which will be much more embarrassing. You have no mercy. I'm your father. Francis has two kids. Where do you expect us to go? I mean, there's a second option. What is it? You have to rent the house out for me. But first, you must pay me all the money you owe me. 
from when I was 18. It is my house, and as a landlady, I must make sure that I maintain it. Those are thousands of dollars. Well, it is simple. We can start with a down payment of $100,000 and then we can speak there. You are crazy. You will not get what you want from me. Over my dead body. We will see what the law has to say about that. Does Francis not have a house? You can move there. Okay, I will give you five days to find a place and then I do not want to see you at my house again. See how my mother and I felt when you kicked the both of us out for stupid reasons? You are disgusting. But I am your father. I have already done everything for you. Now that I want to be happy, you stand in the way of my happiness. Nothing can justify what you have done. You are not my dad. You are dead to me. He's gone. I went and checked the house. I'm going to get another set of keys. And then I'm bringing my mother back home. I'm glad to hear that. Are you sure that you will be able to manage alone? Thank you so much for helping me out. I do not know what I would have done if you were not here. I would have probably been so lost right now. Do not worry, mom and I will manage. I have spoken to the dean about a possible transfer that I can be closer to my mom. Your mother is so lucky that she raised a daughter with a good head on her shoulders. Hey, I wanted to ask something. Yes, you may ask me anything you want. Why did you go so long without seeing mom? It was a stupid sibling squabble. Now I realize that we wasted precious years. I hope that she recovers properly one day. With that man, the terror is unforgivable. True, he's out of our lives now at least. Yes, at least I will talk to you a bit later. Hey, I wanted you to tell your mother that I am filling for divorce. Also, if you keep telling people lies about me, then I will sue you. Okay, whatever. Are you not even going to deny it? And I what? The fact that you are a sad excuse for a father. We are waiting for the papers. Oh, and my mom has been attending physio. It's... I'm sure the judge would be very interested in hearing what she has to say. It does not matter what she has to say. I'll get the house back. Enjoy your little vacation there. And I heard that you already transferred. I hope that your little uncle has space to take you and your mother in. Any judge who rules in your favor would have to be mad. We are not going anywhere. This is our house. My mom is recovering. Soon she will be able to work. You thought you broke her, but you could not if you tried. She's a survivor. I do not care. Whatever makes you feel better. What I know is that you will not get that house. Right. Good news. Mom can now walk with crutches. She does not need her wheelchair anymore. This is all thanks to you. Oh, you do not have to give me all the credit. You have been such a huge support to me. I promise that once I start working, I'll pay you back for the money you spent on the lawyer. I could never allow you to. Spent on the lawyer. I could never allow you to. Plus, we have not won yet. In the end, my mom and I won the case. The house is still in my name. She feels so much better now, and recently went back to work. My dad's girlfriend left him a few months after the divorce was finalized. That might have to do with the fact that my mom cleaned him out.